So now that we've got our production database going, let's go ahead and create a clone so that we can have a test environment. Now, when you're cloning autonomous databases, you can do a full clone or just a metadata clone. Metadata clones gives you the full database schema without any data. But since we're creating our um, test environment, I'm going to do a full clone. I need to give that clone a display name. I'm going to call it SBATP2. It needs a new database name as well. I'm going to go with the same SBATP2. And then we need to decide how many CPUs we want for that. So I think we'll stick with just one CPU and one terabyte worth of storage since this is just going to be a test environment. Finally, I need to set a new admin password. The admin password doesn't get cloned along with the database, allowing you to be able to give the testers their own admin password without having granting them access to the actual production system. So now we've got that again. I need to decide, do I want to subscribe or bring my own licenses? I'm going to bring my own and boom with that. We're already provisioning a clone of our production environment. So it's going to take just a few minutes for that clone to provision. But if we look back here at the dashboard, now you see I've got two different autonomous databases, my original production environment and my clone. And you'll see the clone is provisioning there. It just take another couple of moments for that clone. Oh, there it goes to be available. And so now I have two autonomous databases, one production and one test.